weeks ago, we were seventh graders with big imaginations and even bigger dreams. Can you believe that we are now the very people we used to strive to be? Together we have become extraordinary human beings. Through struggle and triumph, bad times and good times, we have persevered. From babysitting to taxes, from shotgun to, can I borrow some gas money? From field trips to financial aid, we have grown. On the real though, how few are we? Did you guys ever think we would be dominating Millie Vanilli and crushing all the competitions in our assemblies? We may not all be best friends, but we, we come together when we should. And in the end, I think that we all know we're there for one another. Yes, this is goodbye, but only for now. I can't wait to see you all again at reunions and catch up. I want you all to know that you've changed my life. You've made me who I am. And I hope that you can each say that. I want us all to walk away with smiles. Remember the good times. Remember Taryn tiptoeing in his Jordans, Miss Tolan dressing like Mackenzie, Trent and Lumpty shaking their milkshakes, our not so hilarious senior Brink, bumping shoulders at the fish fry, Kelsey and Riley being the cutest couple in the world, and so much more. Choose to look back on the good times, choose to smile. There is something beautiful about a blank canvas, the nothingness of the beginning that is so simple and breathtakingly pure. It's a paint that changes its meaning in the hand that creates the story. Every piece begins the same, but in the end, they are all uniquely different. Piper Payne said that, probably looking back on a moment much like nope. this one. Mm -hmm. We are starting new, going places we've never been and doing things we've never done. It's hard to imagine being somewhere other than here, the place where the majority of us were born and raised. So let's just take a second to see what our seniors will take from this place. Bailey Hinton said, I learned to be my own person, even if that means not fitting in. Don't let stress consume you, because everything will turn out the way it's supposed to. Vanessa Madsen said, What I've learned from high school is that moments in your life may feel like an eternity, but in reality they are flying by, so you must cherish every minute, because one day you will be wishing you could get those memories back. Ariana Hedgel said, High school has taught me that it's not worth it to try and change yourself or fit in with your group of people. It's not worth it, because ultimately it will just make you unhappy. Find people that like you just the way you are. If I've learned anything from high school, it's that I'm blessed. Though high school has not always been great, and I think a lot of us can say it hasn't been most of the time, I can walk away saying that it was a journey. I will not forget what you guys have done for me and what I hope I have done for you, and that's to give me memories. Here at TAP, I have learned to strive and thrive, and that is irreplaceable. Though we are ending one chapter, we are starting a new one. The great part about starting new is being able to discover who you truly are. What do you guys want to do? What do you guys, or who do you guys want to be? And how will you guys be you? There are so many regrets you'll have in life, but never let it be not gracing the world with you guys. Every bit of every one of you is original and wonderful beyond compare. Stay true to who you are and never let this world change you. You know, a little less serious, it is pretty epic that we get the chance to sculpt our future in any way we want. Can you guys imagine little kindergarten us looking at who we are now? Probably saying something along the lines of, you guys don't use crayons at all? And, oh my gosh, you guys are tall. Some of us. <laughs> really though, it's been unbelievable to see how we've grown. We went from wanting to be superheroes that fly and shoot lasers from our eyes, to striving to be the kind of hero that fights for our people, our country, and our happiness. Every single one of us has the ability to be a hero, and we now need to choose that path. I don't know about you guys, but that's enough for me to just burst with joy. I also think we should take a second to look back and give thanks. I'd like to thank Daniel Gordellis for showing me that you can say so much with so little. Samantha Maneri for showing me you can be your own hero if you just believe in yourself. Jasmine Wheeler for showing me that creativity is not just a hobby, but a beautiful lifestyle. Ariana Sparks and Pat Magata for showing me that singing is uplifting as much to the people as it is to the artist. Aaron David for showing me that you can be so passionate about your job, it could be on your graduation cap. I can be that. Uh, Taryn Tapper for showing me that you can be the smartest person in the If she knows, I'll blame it on you for the rest of her life. Miss Yoder, I'm almost done, guys, I swear. <laughs> Miss Yoder for showing me that it's never too late to try something new, even if that means retiring from the Peace Corps and becoming a teacher. Uh, Miss Samarin for showing me that you can go from hilarious to serious in five seconds. <laughs> Bill and Tara Semple for showing that someone doesn't have to be related to you by blood for them to be your family. Emily Rodriguez for showing me that best friends truly are forever. Mackenzie Henson for showing me that I can 
literally laugh at everything, and I probably should, and my whole class as a whole for showing me that strength can carry to extreme heights. Finally, I'd like to thank my mom for showing me that enough love can truly make all the difference. Leela Coco once said, so what do we do? Anything, something. So long as we just don't sit here. If we screw it up, start over. Try something else. But if we wait until we've satisfied all the uncertainties, it may be too late. That quote means something. It means that this isn't the time to be careful. This isn't the time to worry. This is the time to live in the here and now. Mistakes are inevitable, and this is the time to make them without any regrets. Mess up a lot. Smile a lot. And laugh a lot. Life is too short to wait or to be cautious. We are never going to be younger than we are right now. And as of right now, we've been given a chance to celebrate that youth, to celebrate that small space between child and adult. They say it is worse to regret what you didn't do, rather than what you did do. So go out and do it. I'm going to have Miss Haley Kenny from, the, from Ms. Wolf's first grade class lead us in a little bit of a goodbye. You ready?